guys. So today's reading is going to be a reading on what makes you so attractive. What really draws people into you? What catches people's attention? What makes you sexy and vibrant? What makes you the one to have? So we have three piles here. Pile one, two, and three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And I also offer personal readings. You can find my Skype link in the description box below. You can mess me, message me on there so we can work something out for a time to do a personal reading if you're interested in that. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. All of that really helps the channel, and I really do appreciate it, guys. And I appreciate all of my loyal viewers here to watch with me as well. Thank you for being here, and thank you for putting your trust in me to help lead you and guide you on your path. So we're going to get started with Pile 1. So for Pile 1, you are somebody very patient, very persistent, somebody very determined. You don't give up easily. You are somebody who is quite capable of remaining peaceful in trying times. You are also somebody who has cultivated a heavy level of peace in your life, and you like to keep it that way. You're somebody who enjoys relaxing and taking time for yourself. I feel like you really enjoy your own alone time as well. You're somebody very natural, very down-to-earth, very grounded, and you really enjoy getting outside in nature as well, I feel like. And you're somebody who doesn't mind putting in the effort and the work and the faith, the persistence, the determination to build and cultivate things in your life as well. And you really build and cultivate a lot of peace in your connections and a lot of peace and harmony in your energy. You bring a very peaceful and harmonious energy with you wherever you go. But people also not, know not to mess with you. You are somebody who enjoys having things your way and you don't really mind expressing what you need or what you want in a situation, and you do it in a very calm manner. You're like, hey, you either got what I want or you don't, and I'm on my own way. We also have the hummingbird. So you're somebody very positive, joyful, optimistic. Somebody who may flit around a lot. You may know a lot of different people from a lot of different cliques or groups. You're somebody who is very sweet smelling too. I feel like you smell very good. You smell very sweet like flowers. Um, you're somebody who may really enjoy flowers as well. You're somebody who really enjoys nature overall. You're also somebody who is very introspective. You like to look within yourself for the answers. You are somebody who enjoys your alone time immensely. That's what I was talking about earlier. You really enjoy your alone time. And you like to take those breaks to yourself. You like to find peace and quiet and just chill and relax and rest. You're also somebody who has a very stable train of thought. You're somebody who can enjoy life and who is very capable of maintaining their stability in their thoughts, in their mentality, in their thinking processes, because you take the time to examine things and to bring yourself to a state of peace. You are somebody very wise, very intuitive, very knowledgeable here. We have the Summerlands, the Four of Earth, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Star. So you may be somebody who also impulsively takes action to rush in and save the day. You might be somebody who really enjoys working in groups as well. But I feel like you bring a lot of stability and strength to other people. I feel like you bring a peaceful, harmonious level of energy to any situation you enter. And I feel like you are quite capable of walking away from situations, even if you have emotions involved because you are able to detach yourself and you know what is for your highest good and what is not. You are somebody who is walking away from the darkness and the toxicity and the negative cycles and patterns that you've had in the past and you are moving towards this bright new future with hope and faith and trust in your heart that everything will work out to the highest good. That all of the actions and intentions you're putting towards yourself and growing and um, 
finding stability within are really going to reflect in your outer physical life as well. You're somebody very hardworking, somebody who puts in a lot of effort towards what's important to you, somebody who doesn't mind carrying the load as well for your friends or for your family, things like that, but you do it to a certain extent. You have very healthy boundaries and you don't allow others to take advantage of you either. If you are willing to give and put out this energy and this um, commitment to help and to work hard and to take care of things, you expect others to be able to do the same as well. You're somebody very highly recognized, somebody who's able to delve into your emotions while still maintaining a stable point of view as well. You're somebody who people may see in a very high regard. You might be very highly seen on some sort of media network. You may be a social influence influencer of some kind, a social justice warrior of some kind possibly as well. You're heavily seen, heavily watched, and heavily noticed. And you are somebody who really is just has a state of peace, faith, hopefulness, belief, and trust in your in yourself and in your goals and in your path moving forward. You have a lot of confidence and a lot of stability in your mind and your thoughts. Strong person. So you're somebody very strong, very grounded, very solid and stable. Somebody who is very capable of achieving great things with, and people may really not, when they first see you, they might not expect you to be able to put out all of this kind of strength, but you have so much immense strength within you. You're somebody so beautiful and imaginative and youthful and sweet and kind and caring, and at the same time, you are very strong very stable. You are not a naive person either. You are somebody who is very intelligent, very wise, especially emotionally wise. Stated relationships. So you may be somebody that a lot of people remember having a relationship or connection with in the past. You might have been the rock for a lot of people and you may have walked away from something that you had a lot of emotions invested in. There may be some sort of message coming in for you from that situation here soon if that's the case. Listen to your own intuition. Awakened person. So you are somebody very awakened. You know your value. You know your worth. You know what the meaning of life is. You are somebody just really happy and you enjoy life and you work hard and you're stable and you're strong and you don't care too much for drama in your life. Nanny or babysitter. So you could be somebody who is very good with children as well. You could be somebody who maybe has even taken on the role of the family babysitter or nanny like you care for your sister's kids and or and your mom's kids or whatever you could care for a lot of different kids for other people as well um you really enjoy working with children and people find it very attractive that you are just a strong amazing person who works well with kids and who is just really hopeful faithful trusting stable, grounded. You need to start showing your hard work to others. With attention comes recognition. No more invisibility. So you need to start allowing yourself to be seen and you need to step out of the invisible energy and into the spotlight. Spotlight. You need to be okay with being seen. You need to stop feeling like you need to be in the background. What you have to say and what you have to show and what you have to do are all amazing things, so be yourself. Your fiery nature inspires others to speak their truth and to follow their dreams. So as you open up and you start to be your real self and you start to walk away from things and you start to express your truth, you are really seen in high regard. It gives other people faith and hope and trust that they can do the same as well. So you, it's really important for you to be able to do this. It's part of your purpose and part of your path to show others, other people the way. Even when our loved ones go, they have truly never left our hearts. So you may have lost, you may have lost people or they may have been people who walked away from your life or things like that or other people may have lost people or felt like people walked away from them, but they never truly left their hearts. So you are somebody that never truly leaves people's hearts, people's minds, people's memories, people's emotions. People really do have a lot of love for you. I would love to face up and 
I would love to face every up and down with you by my side. So other people would really love to face the world head on with you by their side because you're such a strong person. Somebody who's so awake, somebody who is so knowing and knowledgeable, somebody who is so introspective, somebody who is capable of facing any challenge and overcoming it with ease. And you are somebody who's fiery, passionate, vibrant, and you really stand up for yourself and others as well. And if you have someone specific in mind, then they would really like to face every hardship with you for the rest of their lives, even if something happened where you ended up in separation at some point in time. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear whether or not it resonated with you or what you have going on in your situation in the comments below, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. On to pile two. So for pile two, you are somebody who is very out of this world. Somebody completely different than most people have ever met. And you may also enjoy wearing a lot of different makeup or doing a lot of different makeup styles. Um, you are somebody who is very eccentric, very different, very out of this world. You are somebody who is very connected to your origins or your roots. Somebody who is very connected to the signs and the synchronicities and the messages coming from the universe. You may also be somebody who considers yourself a star seed, where others see you as one and they find this attractive. You're somebody who takes calculated risks, and you're somebody who knows what is good for you and what is not good for you. You may be also moving into a new place, or you could be, um, you could be, uh, taking a risk on something that's going to pay off with a future where you have stability in your housing, something along those lines as well. You are really drawn down your path and your purpose, and you really feel very connected to the otherworldly forces. You are somebody very out of this world, very different, very something other people don't expect at first glance as well. So we have the starfish. Yeah, so you're somebody who is very glamorous as well. You may be somebody who does videos on makeup tutorials, something along those lines. Um... You're somebody who has a very nice outer appearance, but you are, and you are somebody who doesn't allow too many people too close to you as well. You're somebody who has grown a lot, has learned a lot, who has learned a lot of the lessons of shallowness, I feel like, as well. You have really unlocked a lot within yourself and a greater depth within yourself. And other people may not see that at first. They may only see your outer appearance. They may see that shallow layer of beauty because you may be somebody very beautiful, very glamorous, very bright and shining, very just like they want to come in and protect them or they want to save them. And they're this fragile, vulnerable thing. And they can't possibly have any brains or intelligence because they're just so beautiful and amazing. But once they get to know you deeper, they see how different you are how many different thoughts and ideas you have, how, how many concepts that you understand that a lot of people don't even understand. You're very connected to the stars and astrology as well, and they find this attractive too. They may find it very attractive if you kind of switch between different ways of being, like you might be this, this way one day and a different way another day, and they never know which side they're going to get. Yeah, you're somebody very bright, very vibrant, somebody who... Oh, I feel like you teach others a lot as well. You may even teach others. You may have a lot of gifts, and you may teach other people how to express their gifts, how to unlock their gifts, how to understand themselves, how to understand themselves and their passions. You are somebody who is very passionate, very vibrant, somebody who goes after what you want and what you desire, but you're also very sexy, very glamorous, very charismatic and beautiful and somebody very passionate and fiery. So people may see that at first glance, that just that beauty. 
But, you know, if they underestimate you, they get burnt. And you may help a lot of children to understand their passions or their desires. You may help a lot of people in general unlock their true beauty within and to understand themselves better. You are somebody very... Yeah, as a mother of air, you're somebody very knowledgeable, somebody very wise, somebody who has been there and back again, and somebody who knows things. And you try to help others learn from your wisdom and experience, maiden of earth. You bring a lot of messages of truth to people. You bring happiness and joy. You bring this stable, honest, upfront energy as well. Even though you are very blunt and harsh sometimes at the same time, you are only doing that because you care. You care about others and you bring them these messages of truth and awareness to help lead them in the right direction. To help them learn how to control their passions, their emotions, to direct their energies in a way that is healthy for them. And to you're somebody very patient, very kind, somebody who has overcome addictions in your life of one sort or another and has found this peace within yourself and you help to lead others to this victory as well. You're somebody very recognized for your skills, somebody very recognized for your passion, for your drive, for your ambition, for your goals, for the fact that you can set these goals and you can overcome them and you can meet them. You're somebody very honest, very forthright, very knowledgeable, and you are very known for your gifts. You are very known for your mysteriousness, for your knowledge, for your wisdom, for your deep understandings and emotions and intuitiveness. You're somebody, maybe even psychic, somebody who has such depth and sensitivity and emotionality to them, and somebody who's very passionate and vibrant, somebody who has boundaries and sets them, and somebody who is very much an effective communicator. You are somebody very intelligent, very bright, very passionate, very vibrant. You think of things in a different way, and you are very recognized for your ability and skill to teach others. You are somebody who has all of the knowledge and wisdom, and somebody who others come to and petition for that knowledge and wisdom. Somebody who others pay to receive that divine knowledge. You have a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, a lot of understanding. And you have worked hard for this in your life. You have been through a lot of lessons, a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles. You have overcome so much to get to this state of victory. You are very much seen and very much recognized as possibly even a spiritual leader or healer. And somebody who helps others to see the depths within themselves and to dive into those dark recesses of themselves so they can under uncover their truths and see the deeper meaning of themselves and their lives and their value. You are somebody very valuable and somebody very beautiful. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear whether or not this resonated with who you are as a person, whether or not you felt like this is you and all that kind of good stuff in the comments below, what matched, things like that, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful, oh, wait, I completely forgot to read these messages over here, so anybody who stuck around for that, you get to hear these messages too, moneymaker, yeah, so you've got a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, You're, you've got a lot of goals, and you work hard towards your goals, you might be somebody who is lonely, I'm a lonely chick, <laughs> that song, because I'm a lonely chick. Ah, ooh, however it goes. I don't remember how it goes, but <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. Complex person. You're somebody very complex, somebody that others kind of feel like it's hard to get to know sometimes, too, because you only allow so many people into your inner circle, and you may not have a whole lot of company, either. You're somebody who works really hard, though. Um, you're a boss. You are a boss. I'm a boss. <laughs> Um, there's a couple different songs that are called I'm a Boss, um, but you are a boss. You're a leader, you are fiery, you are passionate, you're a go-getter. You are always yourself, you don't believe in hiding your true nature. Yeah, you believe in being authentic, open, you. You hear the voices of the lost. They guide you on your path, medium. So once again, you are somebody, especially if you've stuck around to hear these last messages, you are somebody who is a psychic, a medium, somebody who can communicate with the people who are lost, 
somebody who leads others, somebody who is very passionate, fiery. You may be a witch as well, but you are somebody who doesn't believe in hiding who you are and you express your true nature to the world around you, regardless of past fears, regardless of past karmic cycles, anything like that. You don't care anymore because you know that you are safe in revealing who you truly are anymore these days. You remember everything about anyone you care for and you inspire others to do the same because others may have been waiting for the day to be open about who they are too. Without death, there can be no life and vice versa. We each have our time. Live life to the fullest. And so you are somebody with such a close connection to the dead. You are somebody who really cherishes and appreciates the time that you have on earth and the time that you have to live. And so you live life to the fullest and you don't back down from any challenge that you face. You believe that everyone is beautiful in their own way. So you are somebody very non-judgmental. You, so, you are somebody who's very open-minded, somebody who accepts everyone, and the weirder the better. You are somebody just very beautiful, very pure in your energy and your love. And that is what I got for you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I will see you next time. Have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye. Tile 3. So what makes you attractive, Tile 3? Let's see. I'm going to make our light a little bit stronger. Really quick. So what makes you attractive, Tile 3? You are somebody who is very deeply beautiful, sweet, kind, caring. Somebody who is amazing to look at as well. You may be very romantic. You may believe in fairy tales. I'm kind of feeling like a fairy tales vibe, like Beauty and the Beast. Um, you're somebody who, even though you're this beautiful, amazing person, you do have your sharp, sharp, prickly points. And I feel like you know and understand that everyone else has those sharp, prickly points as well. You are somebody that knows that if you want to love a rose, you have to accept the thorns too. Somebody who has a very beautiful heart. You've had your heart broken and trampled on in the past. You have had it ripped out and stomped on. And you have had to rebuild it up link by link by link. And you have healed your heart. You have really worked hard to work on yourself and your heart and your ability to give and receive and your ability to be open and trusting and, and you're very compassionate, very heart-centered, very giving, very kind, very intelligent, very steadfast. You are somebody that is very determined, very stubborn, very progressive as well. Somebody who is constantly moving forward and overcoming goals and barriers and challenges. You're somebody very persistent, very motivated, very driven, very driven to meet your goals. You're also somebody who is very positive, very joyous, very happy within yourself and the world around you. You're somebody who is has a lot of positive, joyful energy, somebody that is very childlike in a lot of ways. You're somebody who believes in fate and destiny, somebody who believes in romance. Somebody who's very optimistic, joyful, somebody very down to earth as well. I feel like you are just a very romantic person though. Somebody very dreamy, somebody very passionate, somebody very imaginative and childlike in a lot of ways. Somebody who creates big stories and big ideas. Somebody who is very fast, is very fertile, is very abundant. Somebody who is very light footed. You're somebody who is very lucky as well. I feel like people sometimes see you as somebody who's very lucky, um, especially if you're somebody who takes a lot of, leap of leaps of faith for love. People could see you as lucky or people could see you as escaping just in time, things like that. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Water or Cups. We have... The Ace of Fire, or Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. 
Now we got a lot of cards for this one. We got the Six of Pentacles and we got the Three of Swords. So we got the Ace of Wands twice. So you're somebody who thinks very differently from others. You're somebody very ambitious, very goal-oriented, very determined, very fiery, very passionate. You have a lot of new thoughts, a lot of new ideas, a lot of new ways of seeing things and understanding things. And you're somebody who's very transformative. You bring this transformative, fiery energy. You really give people a new way of looking at the past, of understanding of it, of understanding it, of reflecting on it. You are somebody who is very nostalgic, somebody who's very childlike, somebody who's very inquisitive and curious, somebody who's very independent, very stable, very grounded, somebody who's very self-confident, somebody who has a lot of self-worth and self-respect, self-value. You are somebody who values yourself very highly. You take care of your your inner child and you nurture that. And you are somebody who thinks about things in just a very different way from others. You are somebody who maybe in the past wore a lot of masks to hide who you really were. And now you are expressing your truth a lot more fully. You may even be somebody who takes the risk to make the first move and to ask others out on a date maybe as well. You could also be somebody who is enjoying life so much at this moment and enjoying things the way they are that you might be missing some of the new changes and blessings coming in but you're somebody who is always there to help up uplift others when they're feeling sad or down or out you're somebody very giving somebody very generous with your time with your care with your nurture you are somebody who believes in equality and fairness and balance and you are somebody who has had to work through a lot of heartbreaks a lot of hurt and pain and sadness and trauma and it has made you stronger as a person. It has made you more independent. It has made you more self-confident, more self-aware, more self-respecting. You have really gained a lot from this experience. And I feel like you need to start seeing the blessings in all of the pain that you have went through. But other people find it amazing that you have been able to come out of this in such an energy of abundance and beauty and stability, acquaintance. So you may not allow a lot of people super, super close to you on an emotional level because you've been hurt in the past. You might turn away from those people who are trying to reach out and be there for you and be connected to you because you're worried about giving all your energy and all your time and all of your heart and soul and everything to this situation without it paying off in return. So, you know, there could be a lot of people wishing they could know you better as well. We have someone you touched in life. We have not ready person. And we have someone from your childhood. So there's someone from your childhood here who sees you as this abundant, fertile, amazing creature who is just vibrant, fiery, passionate, and on your own mission to succeed in life and overcoming all of your hardship, your challenges, everything they're making you're making them understand heartbreak from a different perspective and you're and they're starting to see maybe even how you were there for them in the past and how you helped them to heal and help them to overcome a lot of challenges but they never really got to know you and you never really got to know them so well because they were too afraid of this heartbreak and this hurt and this pain to allow somebody in close enough so maybe you have met a lot of people when they're in heartbreak and pain and you make them believe in a beautiful future again or something like that. So we have, let me come to you when I'm ready. I need time. So if there's somebody that you're thinking about, they are not ready. They need time. There's not ready person and then there's, let me come to you when I'm ready. I need time. So you might be the person who is not ready and is asking for patience and is asking for the ability to be able to think things over before you decide to go into a deep connection emotionally as well. You may make people work for it and make people um, show their loyalty and their value in, in your life before you'll allow them to be a little closer as well. Nothing will ever change the beauty in your heart. You're somebody very deep, very emotional, very giving and generous of your time as well as your love and your attention. You're somebody very beautiful, very emotional, very amazing, and it doesn't matter what happens to you and what you go through, you overcome it and you come out looking better than ever. You are still just as a 
as beautiful and amazing as you ever were, no matter the hardship you face, you don't go into this energy of hurting everyone around you just because you're hurt. Watching you helps others make me believe... Sorry, watching you help others makes me believe that there is goodness in this world. So you spend a lot of your time, that's what I was saying, you spend a lot of your time giving to people who are hurt, who are lost, who are alone, who are invisible, people who are in heartbreak. And you really help people to believe in love again, to believe in light again, to believe in the goodness in this world, to believe in themselves. And in doing that, you really inspire people to believe in the goodness in this world as well. You encourage me to love myself and to go for my dreams. Thank you. So you really encourage other people to love themselves, to go for their dreams, to do what they need to, to be strong on their own, and to be able to end any kind of codependency issues that they have in their life as well. You make me feel alive again. I want to live. So you really make other people feel alive. You make them feel motivated. You make them feel driven. You make them feel passionate and fiery. You spark this new life in them and this new beginning and this new understanding of the way things work and the way things went and why they did. And you really help them to overcome a lot of their fears, overcome a lot of their self-worth issues or their self-love issues. You help them to see that even when something goes wrong and everything falls apart, there can always be a new beginning again. There can always be new life after death. And you are just amazingly beautiful, romantic, sweet, kind, caring, loving, just very emotional, intuitive, romantic. You are an amazing person. So I hope that you really enjoyed this reading, and I would absolutely love to hear whether or not you felt like this fit with you in the comments below, whether, whether or not this sounded like you or who you might be in the comments below, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.